97 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Tensions along Israel's southern front with the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip are gradually rising. The Israeli Defense Ministry announced that it conducted a successful test of its Aero 2 missile system, elevating Israel's aerial defense capabilities against long-range surface-to-surface missiles, including ballistic missiles capable of carrying a nuclear payload. Jerusalem has donated state-of-the-art artificial intelligence-based technologies and high-end equipment to the All India Institute of Medical Science, commonly referred to as AIMS, for the purpose of combating the relentless spread of the corona contagion throughout the 1.35 billion strong nation. Tensions along Israel's southern front with the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip are gradually rising. Palestinian Islamists have evidently increased the launch of incendiary and explosive devices attached to clusters of balloons, causing extensive damage to wild forests and agricultural fields. According to Israeli police commanding officer of the Southern Precinct Bomb Disposal Unit, Chief Superintendent Erez Tamsot, there were also quite a few instances in which improvised explosive devices, which are attached to balloons, exploded near residential communities. Thankfully, thus far, there were no reports of any injuries. In response to the continued indiscriminate launch of incendiary and explosive devices toward Israeli territory, IDF fighter jets and tanks once again struck a number of Hamas military targets in the Gaza Strip. The IDF spokesperson's unit announced in a written statement, quote, The targets of the strike included a military compound used by the Hamas naval force, underground infrastructure and observation posts belonging to the Hamas terror organization. The IDF added that it views any terror activity against Israel with great severity and will continue operating as necessary against attempts to harm Israeli civilians, while further stressing that the Hamas terror organization is responsible for all events transpiring in the Gaza Strip and emanating from it, and will bear the consequences for terror activity against Israeli civilians. In tandem, Israeli alternate premier and defense minister Benny Gantz has ordered the reduction of the fishing zone of the Gaza Strip from 15 nautical miles to 8 immediately and until further notice. Furthermore, the Israeli top defense official also ordered to halt the import of fuel from Israel into the Hamas-controlled territory. In a statement released by the IDF coordinator of government activities in the territories, it explained that the decision was taken following repeated acts of terrorism from the Gaza Strip against Israeli citizens during recent days, which is a violation of Israeli sovereignty. The statement further reiterated that Hamas is fully accountable for all that is done in the Gaza Strip, as well as for actions launched from Gaza against Israel. Hamas will therefore have to deal with the consequences of the violence committed against the citizens of Israel. In other news, the Israeli Defense Ministry announced that it conducted a successful test of its Aero 2 missile system late last night in cooperation with the United States Defense Agency, Israel Aerospace Industries and the Israeli Air Force. Throughout the test, the Aero 2 system successfully engaged a Sparrow target missile which simulates a long-range surface-to-surface missile, including ballistic missiles capable of carrying a nuclear payload. I'm very glad to announce that this evening we succeeded in the Aero 2 flight test here in Israel. This flight test is coming after 20 years when we deployed the Aero weapon system and delivered it to the Israeli Air Force. The target missile was launched toward the state of Israel from the Mediterranean Sea. The system radar, the Green Pine, acquired the target and track on it till the moment that interceptor was launched toward the target and intercepted on the right moment as expected. 
The head of Israel's missile defense organization also noted that this successful interception test joins a series of additional achievements, including the test campaign of the highly advanced Aero 3 missile system, which was conducted last year in the American state of Alaska. Since we delivered the Aero 2 weapon system in 2000, we upgraded the system at least four or five significant upgrades. Together with the Aero 3 weapon system that just last year succeeded in three consecutive flight tests in Alaska, we can ensure the security of the state of Israel. According to a statement by the Israeli Defense Ministry, both aero systems demonstrated advanced operational capabilities while further noting that the integration of both systems in Israel's air defense mechanism significantly expands and enhances the state's capability to defend against current and future threats. It is important to know that all of the Israeli aerial defense systems, which in addition to the long-range aero systems include the medium-range David Sling and the short-range Iron Dome, are joint Israeli-American ventures and are separately employed by both respective militaries. Therefore, Israeli Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu released a statement in which he expressed, quote, deep appreciation to our U.S. ally for jointly advancing our security, while further highlighting, quote, our enemies and those who seek our ill should know the state of Israel is prepared for any threat. Turning now to the Indian capital, New Delhi, where Israel has donated state-of-the-art artificial intelligence-based technologies and high-end equipment to the All India Institute of Medical Science, commonly referred to as AIMS, for the purpose of combating the relentless spread of the corona contagion throughout the 1.35 billion strong nation. Israeli ambassador to India, Ron Marka, said that Jerusalem's contribution to New Delhi was made as part of the Israeli-Indian cooperation to fight the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. This equipment that we are now sharing with Ames Hospital is the most advanced technological medical equipment that we developed in Israel especially for fighting COVID-19. Some of it was invented and developed by the defense companies of Israel, utilizing technologies that are used for defense and implemented in medical devices just for COVID, uh, fighting COVID-19 and only those that were found useful and efficient. So we collected, I myself went to the leading hospitals in Israel, uh, accompanied by the experts of our Ministry of Health, and we located uh, the most efficient and useful medical equipment uh, that is used for fighting COVID-19 in our leading hospitals and we brought it here. Ambassador Malka further revealed that the contributions of the high-end equipment by Israeli companies and separately a special fund allocated by the Israeli Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi were made out of Israel's love for India. Uh, some of it was contributed by the companies that just love India and some of it was purchased with a special fund that was allocated by our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Gabi Ashkenazi. It is important to mention that Israel and India are also jointly testing diagnostic technologies with the goal of conducting rapid coronavirus tests within tens of seconds in a joint venture which aims to enable the opening of airports, office buildings, schools, train stations and more around the world. Thank you for watching us as part of TV7's initiative I would like to encourage you to join myself and the team here in Jerusalem today to lift up Monaco in prayer for its salvation and peace, alongside our ongoing prayers, of course, for the peace of Jerusalem, the salvation of Israel, as well as for all those who are impacted by the corona contagion worldwide. Furthermore, I want to thank all of our partners for your prayers and financial support, which allows us to continue with our daily productions here at TV7 Jerusalem. I'm Jonathan Hassan, wishing you an Erev Tov, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.